A force on the xy plane. An object of mass m is not is at rest in equilibrium at the origin. At t is equal to zero, a new force f of t is applied that has components k1 plus k2y is fx of t and fy of t is k3 times t, where k1, k2, and k3 are constants. Calculate the position r of t and velocity v of t vectors as functions of time. So we start from rest uh, in equilibrium. So uh, we have initial velocity is 0, initial speed is 0. We are at the origin at the beginning. So therefore, uh, x0 is 0 and y0 is 0. So, uh, initial position is the origin. Now, the force on the y-axis, Fy, will be equal to mass times acceleration y component. And this is equal to k3 times t. So, acceleration y component can be written as k3 times t over m. So it is K3T over M. And this is equal to rate of change of Y component of the velocity DVY DT. Therefore, the change in the Y component of velocity as a function of time will be given by the integral from 0 to T AY DT which is the integral from 0 to t, k3 t, k3 t over m, which is ay, k3 t over m, dt. And this integral will give me k3 t square over 2m. k3 t square over 2m between 0 and t. At 0, it's 0, so it's just k3 t square over 2m. And the change in the velocity y component is uh, the velocity y component at time t at uh, minus the velocity y component at t is equal to 0. This is uh, k3 t square over 2m e3 t square over 2m. So we find that the velocity y component as a function of time is k3 t square over 2m. k3 t square over 2m, which is the rate of change of y coordinate of the position dy dt. So change in the y component of the position vector delta y will be integral from 0 to t vy dt and this will be integral from 0 to t k3 t square over 2m dt so t square becomes 1 over 3 t cube, so it, it's going to be k3 t cube divided by 6m. So I find that the y component of the position vector y of t should be equal to k3 t cube over 6m since y0 was equal to 0. All right. Uh, now, let's continue with the x component. So the x component of the force as a function of time is given by k1 plus k2 times y. So this is k1 plus k2 
K2, K3, T cube divided by 6m. If I substitute for y, y of t is K3, T cube over 6m. And this is equal to mass times x component of the acceleration. So I find that x component of the acceleration according to Newton's second law is equal to k1 over m plus k2 k3 over 6 m square t cube it was 6m here but I divide by m so it becomes m square and this is equal to rate of change of x component of the velocity dvx dt so the change in the velocity x component vx at time t minus vx zero is equal to the integral from zero to t ax dt and this is integral from 0 to t now I substitute for ax k1 over m plus k2 k3 divided by 6 m square t cube dt so k1 over m dt becomes k1 over m t between time t equals 0 and t and k2 k3 over 6 m square remains but from the integral of t cube I will get a t to the 4 over 4 so 4 times 6 is 24 24 m square t to the fourth power therefore I'm ready to write the velocity vector as a function of time the velocity vector is its x component in i hat direction plus its y component in j hat direction therefore the velocity vector is Let's substitute for x component k1 over m t plus k2 k3 divided by 24 m square t to the fourth power i hat plus The y component, the y component was uh, here, k3 t square over 2m. So that is k3 t squared over 2m in j hat direction. Okay. And... Uh, to find the x component of the position, I have to write velocity x component is uh, the rate of change of x component of the position dx dt. So delta x is the integral from 0 to t vx dt. And this is the integral from 0 to t. k1 over m t plus k2 k3 divided by 24 m square t to the fourth power dt and the integral of t dt is t squared over 2 so we're going to get for the first term k1 t 
t squared over 2m and for the second term the integral of t to the 4 dt is t to 5 over 5 so 5 multiplied with 24 will give me 120 so it will be k2 k3 t to the fifth power 120 m square and this is x at time t minus 0 because initially we were at the origin so I'm ready to write the position vector as a function of time r is x of t i hat plus y of t j hat so if I substitute uh, r vector the x component we have found here uh, so we can substitute k1 t squared divided by 2m plus k2 k3 t to the fifth power divided by 120 m square in i hat direction plus and now i have to remember y as a function of t it's here k3 t cube over 6m so k3 t cube divided by 6m times j hat will be the second part so the position as a function of time will be given by this expression all right so to summarize uh, we were given an object of mass m which is at rest in equilibrium at the origin so it is at rest at the beginning the initial velocity is zero at the origin x0 equals 0 y0 is equal to 0 in equilibrium net force was equal to 0 at the beginning so f at time t is equal to 0 was 0 the net force acting on it and for time t greater than 0 we have turned on a force which has components y component k3 t x component k1 plus k2 y and uh, k1 k2 and k3 are constants so we want to calculate position and velocity as functions of time now i started from the y component of the force because there is a y here it's this part is not written explicitly time dependent so i wanted to solve y as a function of t so the net force on the y-axis is mass times acceleration y component which is k3t from which i uh, determine acceleration as k3t over m the change in the velocity y component is integral from 0 to t a y dt and since initially the velocity was 0 uh, y component was 0 vy of t is k3 t square over 2m taking one more integral from 0 to t i obtain the change in the y component of the position and that becomes k3 t cube over 6m because initially y0 was 0 then for the x component i write mass times acceleration x component by substituting for y what i have found here k3 t cube over uh, 6m i solve for acceleration by dividing the left hand side with m taking an integral from 0 to t acceleration x component dt i obtain velocity as a function of time and x component so knowing the x component of the velocity y and y component of the velocity here x component of the uh, velocity here i substitute vx i hat plus vyj hat is velocity vector so that's what i get and for the x component equals dx dt i take an integral from 0 to t vx dt and that gives me delta x which is equal to x because x0 was 0 and writing position vector x i hat plus yj hat substituting for x what i have found here and for y what i have found here I obtain the position vector as a function of time.